Welcome back. I just got a fiber laser. Uh, it's a 20 watt fiber laser from Monport Lasers. I checked it out for make. I've always wanted a fiber laser, so I bought it. And now we're gonna play with it and do some cool stuff. I've seen some videos of people decapping ICs. That's where you uh, take the protective black coating off of the top of an of a integrated circuit to be able to look at what the board looks like inside. I've seen people doing that with lasers, so I wanna give it a try. I got a few things sitting around I'm gonna blast. I've got an old video card, an Xbox One controller, an Arduino, uh, Uno, and a spare screen for an iPhone. So I've got all kinds of chips I can play with. Um, if you are here looking for something smart, like intelligent, you know, breakdown of what I'm seeing, sorry, you're gonna be let down. I'm gonna blast this with lasers and look at the insides because it looks cool. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm not gonna. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be sharing any intelligent insight. As a matter of fact, if you are one of those smart people who like has a reason to decap an IC, you might even be really let down. But if you just wanna see some lasers blasting some ICs apart, uh, let's get to it and uh, see the cool stuff. The first thing I tried was this iPhone screen. Um, I hit with the laser not realizing this was a sticker on here. So the sticker warped off and it kind of made it burn unevenly. That was a screwdriver I was gonna knock it out of the way with, but it actually just blew off on its own. So you can see here it's cutting a little unevenly. I'm just seeing what's gonna happen. And to my delight, we get some stuff. I hit it another couple times just to try to expose more of it. This is real time right now. And here it is under the microscope. I don't know if we're seeing a protective coating or if I'm starting to take off the top layer of silicon here with those chips. You can see the components around it, the resistors and diodes. All right, the Arduino. This is real time here. As I'm carving through it, I will speed it up considerably for you in just a moment. And here we go. I just love watching this thing carve away just a fraction at a time. This is running at like 80% power uh, and 500 millimeters per second, maybe. And then once I started to expose stuff, I slowed it down, I think. Or maybe I still had it at that high power. And there we go, there's the chip in the, in the middle. We've exposed the traces going out to the pins, and we have the chip in the middle, so let's look at this. Again, this is just a solid block. I'm not sure if what I'm seeing here is the top of the silicone, um, silicon, or, uh, or what. And you can tell that it's been, you know, beat up pretty bad by the laser. So there's really not much to see there. And I thought, well, what if that's just a protective coating? Let's go, let's go deeper on that individual spot. So here we go, blasting just the chip in the middle. And we'll speed that up. And ultimately, we get all the way down here. This is back to real time. And you start to see what I'm assuming is a base plate. I think I've cooked off everything useful. I think I'm just not able to see the components because they're too small. I, you know, I'm being silly here. I could Google this. I could look up how they're made, but I'm more interested in the laser uh, action, to be honest, and just how cool this stuff looks. I feel like an archeologist. Don't worry if you're getting bored. Some chips later, you do get to see some circuits. It's great. Here I'm zooming in just as far as I can to see if there's any traces of anything. And I just can't, I don't know what I'm looking at. It really looks like a backplane to me, but I'm, I'm not that smart.
here's the graphics card. This one was kind of interesting and in just how freaking long it took to cut through this. And again, my suspicion is that I'm burning through the important bits here. And it's just so small that there's no way that I could even see evidence of it. Looking at it, it just looked homogenous. I couldn't see any kind of traces at all. I assumed, you know, with the, I think it's like, what, five nanometer or something scale in these cards, that there's no way I would see the actual circuits, but I figured there'd be some fat line or two through there that I'd be able to pick up on. Guess not. Because, again, once we get down here, it really looks like I'm just looking at a back plane or a base plate or something like that. We're burning off the last bits of it here. Those of you who fully understand how these are constructed are probably screaming as I do this. But this is what we got. This is what we're doing. So then I also moved over to these, uh, you know, they look like it's just a little transistor. Um, and those were cool because the wires actually go through the, the things depth wise so you can look down in there. It's so cool to look at. Now the graphics card of course has tons of memory, so I figured I'd hit one of those. I thought this looked so cool. Like this cutaway, where you can see the different layers and the different components. And kind of like the uh, iPhone screen, you know, there's this big blob in here, this big block, and that's the memory. And I'm sure at this point, I'm already cutting away the actual little memory cores. Like, if I had a much better microscope, Right there, I could probably see something in that gray block, uh, but I can't. So I figured, hey, I'll just blast it some more. And you know, like like uh, with the video card, I'm pretty sure we're just getting all the way down to like a, a back plane here. You can see there's a few spots that were melting and warping, but it, you're just seeing a back plane there. I'm pretty sure. Maybe even just the board under it. The Xbox One controller is really where I got the best results. Um, I turned the power way down. This is like 30% power, and I'm just going so many passes. So many passes. I think I turned it back up for a little bit to get some depth, but then I turned it way back down. And then what we see here is if I zoom in, I don't have everything gone. I tried to clean it off with a paper towel. That's what those white fibers are. I don't have everything gone, but if you look really close, you can definitely see some circuit going on here in the silicon. You can, you can see here in a moment. I kind of browse around. I can't quite tell if these lines here are damaged from the laser, but here in a moment, you'll see a little bit of the circuit. Now I can adjust the width, um, the spacing in between each laser line, and I, could, I should probably narrow that down. I think maybe there's something there you can see, but check this out here on the top, kind of left, and now center. Look at there at the top. Definitely some circuit, but this is the best part. This was the Bluetooth module, I believe, in the Xbox controller. I don't even know what my settings were here. I just went until I saw stuff pop up and then I slammed the stop button. But look at this. We are definitely seeing the components of this chip. That is awesome. That makes me so happy. It makes me want to do some more. Um, but if I'm going to do more, I need to sit down and actually like research a little bit. So I know what I'm looking for and I know what the scales are. So, you know, I'm not looking for things that are too small for me to even be able to see in the first place. I need to find chips with big stuff. Uh, I mean, look at that. That is awesome. Thank you.
was fun. Uh, I was getting there in the very end. I was getting there. That Bluetooth module really started to show up and you could see the parts. Ultimately, I think I would need to really, really slow down, um, like, like lower the uh, power and just take my time slowly taking off the tops of those ICs. Ultimately, I think really um, acid is probably the way to go if you need to have a pretty result. But I thought this was fun. I enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed yourself too. If you want to support me in this or in my other project where I make controllers for people with uh, game controllers for people with physical disabilities, sign up to my Patreon. There's links to everything down below.